you are watching right now, you're taking a live look at Cape Canaveral, where in just a few hours, Artemis 1 is going to take off for the moon. This is NASA's first moon mission since Apollo 17 in 1972. <laughs> Cannot believe it's been 50 years. Well, today's launch is unmanned. The mission is to prepare for sending another crew of astronauts to the moon in 2024 to stay there. Permanently. To stay yeah. on the moon. To, to, we, you, this is ours now. Yeah. And we're going to live here. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so that's the goal here. The whole mission, though, is expected to last 42 days. First, the Orion space capsule will go around the world once and then off toward the moon. Its orbit around the moon um, is uh, to gather data uh, and to test radiation levels. That is expected to last 23 days. Then, the capsule will splash down back on Earth out in the Pacific Ocean. Astronauts involved in the mission say they're doing all of this for our benefit. This mission being successful is a, a sign to the world and to the American people that, that we've been doing our best with, with your resources. And, and, and so thank you. We owe them that. 100,000 people are expected to be in Florida for this launch this morning, including Vice President Kamala Harris. Uh, now, Colleen, uh, there's a two-hour window here that mm -hmm. we're looking at when it comes to the launch of this. It starts at 8.33, uh, but NASA has some very specific, uh, the conditions have to be very specific. Yeah, it can get scrubbed very easily. The temperatures for the launch have to be a certain temperature. Between 94, it has to be at ni or less than 94 degrees, uh, no heavy rain and no ex excessive winds. And with that temperature, it even has to be between certain levels of our atmosphere, between 132 feet and 257 feet. Uh, so they do have a few isolated showers possible at that time of the launch. Uh, so hopefully within that two-hour window, they're able to take off that wind looks pretty calm. I looked at that wind forecast, so it's really just hopefully we don't see any sprinkles in that area. It looks a probability between 60 and 80 percent chance that it will be an all go this morning. We would like to see a 90 to 100, but hey, uh, it is Florida weather in the summer. But plenty of people going to see a beautiful view, hopefully, in Brevard County, my well, hometown. It's, a, it's a, <laughs> I was gonna say it's a view that you're familiar with yes. having grown up and, and seen this in person. If you're not one of the hundreds, uh, thousand people that are going to be in Florida. For the launch, don't worry. ABC News is providing live coverage of the launch. You already saw a live picture of it, so they've already got their cameras on it. Uh, if NASA uh, does shoot the rocket off today, ABC News is going to break into regular programming. You'll see that right here on WHAS 11 between 8:33 and 10:33 this morning. 